Okay, for um, those of you who've uh, watched my earlier videos uh, on having my hip replacement, uh, thanks for looking at them. Uh, and here's my uh, my latest update. This is probably going to be my my last update on the um, my hip replacement. Um, 13th of March uh, 2017 this year uh, I had my full hip replacement um, and up to my last video I've been progressing uh, really well everything was amazing uh, everything I could have asked for and since that video um, it's, it's now six months down the line uh, and everything has been progressing uh, as earlier on so really really good uh, time has flown though uh, and it is like I said six months since my operation I'm due to go back for a, um, a review, a 12 months period, but here we are at 6 months. Um, like people, most people know, when you're actually training uh, to get fit, you do get highs and lows, and then there have been a few of those, but thankfully a lot more positives uh, than negatives. I'm a lot more, uh, in the previous video, a lot more happier. Um, but what I did really underestimate, and I think I might have mentioned it in some of the early videos, is the um, degradation and tone and, and strength of all the muscles around the hip. And in fact, in my general body as well, uh, due to not being able to train. Um, so I'd not really, um, you know, I wasn't really in a position where I was as fit as I thought I was. Um, so it has taken a lot more time. Uh, building back up again, I thought really I'd have my operation done, a little bit of training and, and bang I would be hitting the road, but that's not been the case. Um, but it's been slow steady progress, um, I've made sure that I've, I've built up in a slow a slow manner. So each month I've probably um, stayed at one particular distance, so whether it's be three miles or four miles, I've stuck to that. Uh, and I've, I've uh, you know, stuck to that religiously really to make sure I didn't increase too much at once. Um, the other thing I've done as well, which I think's helped, is when I first originally started running back in oh, when I was 21, so that's 30 years ago, best part, a lot of the running I did was off-road on trails and things. And I think without really knowing, you do build up a lot of uh, strength due to the undulating terrain. Um, so I've reintroduced uh, off-road running. Um, on mud fields, trails, things like that, to uh, really uh, complement the normal road running uh, that you do. And I think I said on the earlier videos, you get a bit preoccupied with, with road running. So I think the, the trails, the off-road, through uh, through parks, etc., have added that little bit of extra strength to the muscles uh, of being going along. So, um, yeah, I'm up to about five and a half miles, six miles almost, um, hilly routes as well, I put in quite a few hills in there so it's taxing the calf muscles and then when you come down it's obviously taxing the quads. Um, but I don't get any pain through the hip, um, which is brilliant. What I do get is obviously tight muscles uh, in the hip flexor a little bit, but that's getting better uh, each time I go and I do have to concentrate on stretching to make sure that's good. Uh, I do yoga, I've started reintroducing the yoga uh, once a week um, and I'm in a better position now flexibility wise than I was before I had my hip done, quite a bit before. Um, and I've also taken on part of my um, running, uh, doing some walks. Um, I've never really done much walking uh, but as part of the rehab early on I made sure I was just doing walks or a few miles so we've now done a few fell walks and things like that. And uh, recently we just come back from Yosemite National Park uh, and we did a, a really good walk um, around about a 10 mile um, route actually uh, to a place called Nevada Falls so it's about 2,000 feet of climbing uh, and obviously descending when you come back down but it was absolutely a brilliant walk yes I was tired when I got back and the muscles were a bit achy uh, but not a problem from the hips so you know you do forget where you've come from and you are, where you are now absolutely brilliant um, so I think of where I wanted to be in terms of fitness. Um, I also commented that jokingly I've entered the London Marathon. Well, lo and behold, I've actually got in the London Marathon. Um, so I've got to get into a state where I'm um, fit to do 10 miles by uh, Christmas. Uh, I've just picked up a little bit of an Achilles problem at the moment. Um, not quite sure where that's come from, but I've got physio treatment on that. 
So I'm hoping to get up to uh, 10 miles by Christmas uh, running and then I'll assess where I am as to if I can do the marathon in terms of you know the, the intensity of the training um, from Christmas onwards to, to April when the marathon typically is in London. Um, so yeah, so this is probably going to be my last uh, hit video. Um, I, I am over the moon. The people, I can't thank the surgeon enough and the, the staff at the hospital where I had done. Uh, I can thoroughly recommend the anterior approach if you ever get the opportunity to have it. It's been brilliant for me. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to concentrate on some other videos. Um, one of my other passions um, is electric vehicles and um, you know uh, sustainable energy. So I'm going to do some videos uh, on Tesla cars. I've actually recently vi visited the uh, Fremont factory in uh, California. Um, I've got a reservation down on a Model 3, but I'm going to do some more videos on that. Uh, but again, thank you for the support. I've had about 400 people almost have a look at the videos, uh, which is brilliant. Uh, if it's helped anybody, absolutely fantastic. Uh, and I hope you find it actually useful. Um, so if you do like it, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, and recommend it to friends and that's it for my last video on hip videos thank you